Welcome back, Zero K fans. This is Jerry 33 with, well, the beginning of a series of exhibition matches between Google Frog and Cubay, which will be hopefully very interesting because they are both very high-level players, basically top two and top six, I think. Well, Cubay I think is top two or something. I'm not sure exactly, but yeah, they are. They are both really strong, so it should be very fun. We're gonna be starting up on Zion. Very hilly map, generally favors spiders, but let's see what they're going to go for on this. Cube going for air, also a good option. And Google Frog going for Cloaky, which can work, definitely. There's no pathing restriction on that one. Well, there is the factory, but not for the unit itself. Yeah, the unit can go everywhere. Cloaky bots can go everywhere, not quite as quickly as spiders, but they work fine. And like I said, Cube going for air, very quickly getting swifts up. One swift, and then a bunch of ravens. Looks like they're going... Factory kill, actually. Five ravens is more than enough for a calm, but exactly enough for a factory. Oh, well, okay, a little bit lower, but the swift is coming in to soften things up a little bit beforehand. Which, with that, it'll be a lot easier to get the ravens in. Because the ravens, that's 800 damage shot, which, for a factory with 4,000 health, in theory is... That is, in theory, 4,000 damage, but it actually works out at, like, 3980 or something like that, due to some weird simulation wonkiness. So the swift... That's kind of nice to help finish it off, when ultimately it won't be finished off by the Ravens. However, Google Frog, I'm pretty sure, can see this. Let's see, Google Frog... Well, they have no knowledge of Cubay's main base. A bit surprising they haven't actually checked it yet, but I'm guessing that they've seen the Aryans. I'm guessing they've seen the actual flyers come up. Kind of hard to avoid that. I mean, on the other hand, there is a hill be in the way, so the Swift might not be visible. I'm not entirely sure what Google Frog knows at the moment. But yeah, it yeah, like I said, Major Resic. Five Ravens is not enough for a single factory. It's almost enough for a single factory. And that's where the Swift, I'm pretty sure, comes in because... Oh yeah, Google Frog definitely aware of this, or if not aware of this, at least guesses. And it looks like coming in for just quickly going around, seeing what Google Frog's got. And I'm guessing the Commander Kill will likely be the first one. That or just kill the Defenders and then come back for the factory later. However, it's going to be a little while yet. It's going to be about two minutes, un well, a minute and a half until all of the ravens come up. Wait, I don't have... There we go. It's going to be about a minute and a half before all the ravens come up. Actually, more than that, come to think of it. Ravens... Really? Yeah, apparently is not going to be able to build them as quickly. So, it's going to be a little while. Two to four minutes before all the ravens come in. Okay, never mind. It is... There we go. It's just Google Frogs... Sorry, Cubase Commander building up at the same time, so it does split off the resources. But, yeah... Give it a couple minutes. However, the gremlins are in position, and dealing with that for the ravens is pretty much impossible. Some phoenixes would be useful here somewhat, but really, I don't know, I think Cuba's just going to try to go straight for the factory, or try to go straight for the commander, and not even worry about the ground mobile AA, because the ravens won't have much of a shot at dealing with it. Now, of course, the ravens can, sorry, the Swiss can figure out where they are, because they aren't on hold fire, which, not surprising, but... What is Cuba going to do here? Because the Ravens are clearly not working against the Grem the yeah, Gremlins. Keep getting renamed. Oh, yeah, it's Gremlin now. Right. Not Jethro anymore. Of course not. Anyway. Like I said. Doesn't do much for the Gremlins. Mild annoyance at best. However, obviously getting the factory or getting the commander would be a much more useful use of those Ravens. Or getting the defenders so that they can come in in round two. That's another option, of course. But it looks like, I mean, neither player is expanding. Cubay really is trying to win with this, but hasn't gone enough. And at this point, needs more energy, as pointed out. And going for a proxy shield bot factory, interesting choice. Not a surprising one, though, but yes, interesting. Because it does mean that all these AA will be fairly useless, though they will scout it out. And there's going to be about a minute and a half before that's done. So ultimately, it's not going to matter too much. And Tick's coming in. Stunning everything out, and that'll leave the Glaives to finish everything off, killing off Cubase Commander. However, the Jethro, sorry, the Gremlins are out of the way, and the Ravens... No, the Ravens are going to go for the Glaives. Interesting. Which will work in this case if the Glaives are not moving, because they're not skirming. However, Cubase Commander still goes down along with it, the Shieldbot Factory. I don't know why Cubase did it that way. I mean, given the positionings, it would have been more useful to kill the Factory. The Commander was basically dead anyway. I don't know.
but Cuba at this point getting another getting a crane needs to rebuild from here. But that's like I said, these je the gremlins are about it. The defenders doing what they can to get rid of them, but really taking out one raven already, and more ravens gonna be going down very quickly. And Cuba realizes not much they can do. The air rush didn't even go anywhere. So that was a quick game. First game for this, I guess, set. Be back in just a minute. I will have another game. Once again, Cuba versus. Cuba versus Google Frog. We'll be back in just a moment with that. <laughs> 